I grew up in Littleton. My mom was a special ed teacher and my dad studied to be a high school teacher. And they just really emphasize education. And I've now been a teacher for eight years and I feel like I've definitely found my calling. I was a sophomore at Columbine High School in 1999. Um, the morning of April 20th was when the shootings happened. And we heard this like pop, pop, pop. And I remember my softball coach at the time, he threw open the door and he said, this is not a drill, you need to get out of here. And he was like, go, go, go. And it was just like mad chaos from that point. We just started running and we finally got outside. There was already kids from the cafeteria that were out there and they were just bawling and crying and they said there are shooters at our school and people were already dead by the time we left. I've never really talked about Columbine um, publicly and after Sandy Hook, that was kind of the breaking point when I said enough. I was 16 when this happened, and you know, they're six, if they're still there, you know, and I, I can't even imagine how they're trying to make sense of it, because as a teenager, it didn't make sense. And now I work with little kids, and I see them, and they're, they're processing, and it's, nobody can comprehend this. We're required to do a drill every month, um, and that could be a fire drill or a lockdown drill. One of my students said, or if there is a shooter that comes to the school, this is where we'd go. And it was just sad that that's on their radar. There's a lot of people have very different views about how do we make schools safer. And I don't think that there's one easy fix. Schools alone can't solve this problem. Right now it's a, it's a society problem. And my hope is that there's an increase in mental health awareness and in common sense gun legislation. And then just an increase in school security measures. I'm unique in the sense that, yes, I was part of school violence, but now I'm a teacher, so I can kind of see both sides of the coin. I just feel like if my voice can help make school safe, then I need to do something. No more fear, no more deaths, no more memorials.